we'll do something about that. Got another Z06 video for you guys here. I literally just ended the last one. We're gonna put the new wheels on this thing, paint the calipers, wrap the roof gloss black, and just basically totally transformed how this thing looks with a couple simple mods. Now it's finally time to take care of the body damage on this car. I talked about this in the first video on this car, and you know, a lot of you guys have probably noticed it, but at the same time, you know, from YouTube, from your PC or your phone, it might not even be that noticeable. But this area needs some work. So allegedly, the previous owner who tracked this car, which is how the engine blew up, uh, kissed the tire wall with, with this rear bumper section here. So you can see the bumper's creased right here. It's creased to the point that it has a crack right there. A little bit in right there. And then the rear quarter panel, which is fiberglass, has a little bit of a crack right there and then another little bit of a crack right there. So these are gonna need repair, which means they're gonna need repair and paint. So some of you guys who have also been around for a long time, I remember the yellow Z06 that I repaired about a year and a half ago. Um, we're gonna take this, these parts down to Ben. He's the same guy that helped me paint those parts. He's been doing you know, paint since before I knew anything about paint, basically. You know, what I know about painting and the stuff that I paint in my driveway is basically through helping him and, uh, you know, learning through him. But uh, it's the middle of winter right now. Uh, I can't paint in my driveway. Uh, it'll be good to see Ben and, uh, you know, he's an expert at repairing stuff like this. So I'm hoping we can knock it out tomorrow. Anyways, I'm supposed to meet with Ben at like 8.30 tomorrow morning and it's about 10.30 right now. And the bumper and the quarter are still on the car. So... I gotta get to work here. Basically my plan is to remove this tail light, um, see if I can't with some heat. While this is still in the car, you know, try and massage some of this out with the heat gun. Uh, this fender comes off, or this quarter comes off pretty easy. It's basically a, a bunch of bolts down through here. Torx heads right here, and then a, the same thing down the door right there. Rear bumper is not too bad. But I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try and heat this a little bit get a little bit of this dent out as much as I can while it's still on the car. See if I can get this back into position and then uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, I gotta get to work and I gotta work quick if I wanna get to bed at a decent hour, which not looking like it's gonna happen, but you guys sit back, relax, and uh, let's get this bumper quarter panel off and get them ready for repair.
Well, we got a lot done. Quarter panels off, rear bumpers off. Quarter panels here, rear bumpers here. This is all blown apart, all, all these accessories and valances and tail lights and license plate bulbs and all that good stuff is off. Emblems, that spoiler was an absolute fight to get off. I have no idea what they used to get that on there. It was like panel bond or something, but. Also spent a decent amount of time with the heat gun and like 70% of that crease came out. There's still, you know, there's still that guy there, which we're gonna have to body work and probably spend a little more time with the heat gun, but holy crap, just a little bit of heat and working it with my hand and most of that crease is gone. So that's gonna save us some time, but it's well after midnight. I gotta be up early to uh, get going down, uh, down to the body shop. So I'll catch you guys in the morning and uh, we'll get to work on this repair. Hey Ben. <laughs> Say hi Ben. Howdy. Hey, there he is. Alright, so we got right to work, kinda sorta, not really. Just talked for two hours, but we're in the body shop. Prep work on the fender. We've repaired the backside already. Can't really see it, but yeah, I've repaired the cracks in the backside, dug them out, drilled them so they don't spread or propagate. Now we got the fiberglass coming in here. This is drying up. I've been working on the rear bumper, trying to keep heating and cooling that crease. Try and flatten that out. We're just blocking it out now to see where our high and low areas are. Get it as flat as we can. Right, Ben? Right. All right. We're gonna get this as straight as possible. Then sand in on the fiberglass here, getting ready for some filler and primer and more sanding. More blocking, you guys know the deal, but get it done.
what happened? Well, boys, unfortunately, I did you dirty. We skipped a couple steps here. So let me, let me bring you up to speed. Spent all day with Ben prepping the fender and the rear bumper. As bodywork normally goes, it just took so much longer than we thought. There was a bunch of distractions, a bunch of brakes and this and that. And so it ended up being like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. We were just about ready to paint. Everything had been prepped, primed, blocked, you know, scuffed, ready to go. And uh, we noticed that the fender had re-cracked. I don't know if it was because we kind of dropped it when we were getting it on one of the body stands or what, but we ended up having to completely redo the repair. We did it even better, put a ton more material back there. So it's basically way stronger than stock at this point, but that set us back hours. So it got to the point where it was like nine o'clock at night. Uh, we sprayed in the primer, went out to dinner. We're like, all right, let's have a beer or two. Seen this movie a hundred times, that turns into three or four, and the next thing you know, it was like, oh, we'll just spray it in tomorrow. Which is fine, except that I was going on vacation uh, at 8 a.m. the next morning, and I was an hour from home, and then we had to have an hour drive to the airport. So again, long story short, Ben and his buddy ended up spraying these parts in for me while I was on vacation, wrapped them all up for me, and uh, they're, they're just in these boxes ready to go. I have not seen them. I picked them up last night, threw them in the garage here. So we're gonna check them out together. So here's the rear bumper all wrapped up. Here's the quarter panel in a Ford box. I wonder what that part number is, rear door. Hmm, wonder what it goes to. But uh, there's the rear quarter, there's the bumper. So uh, let's get these things unwrapped see how they look like I said I haven't even seen them yet so I'm excited to see how the paint came out and how everything went Nothing like some fresh Victory Red. <whistles> These things came out minty. This is where our damage was on the rear bumper. Nothing. Straight as an arrow. Don't mean to toot my own horn on that one, but uh, I spent probably almost two hours with the heat gun that Saturday, getting that thing 95% straight just with heat alone heat alone in my hand and you know quenching it with a cool rag and you know you don't want to use any filler if possible we used a tiny little skim layer and uh the bumper came out really nice here's our repair back there so that's where we reinforce the crack with this special plastic um basically epoxy slash and you know you can see the screen mesh in there 
that reinforces it as well. So it should be probably stronger than it was from the factory. So that's laser straight, good to go. The rest of the bumper, I, I wasn't there when they did it, but I believe we just sprayed color from like here over and the rest of this is the original paint. And then obviously you just clear, you know, clear coat the whole thing. So this is good to go. Same thing with the quarter, looks awesome. Can't even tell, you know, we were right on the body line right there and you'd never even know. Same thing with the crack that was there. There was one down here, or maybe it was over here, but I'll show you guys the repairs in here. So same idea, we, you know, you guys saw in some of the footage I had, we basically drilled the cracks to, you know, so they won't propagate, then kind of hollowed them out with the Dremel to give the fiberglass some, you know, adhesion, and then uh, reinforced it from the back. Fiberglass on the front, skim coat on the front, primer, blocking, you know the deal. All that work was worth it. We now have a perfect Victory Red uh, quarter panel and rear bumper. And you guys will see in a minute, I couldn't wait last night. I test fitted on the car real quick. The match is absolutely perfect. These guys use uh, Standox paint, which if you guys aren't familiar with paint and body, this is super high quality stuff, super expensive. There's a little bit left in here just in case we need to do any touch-ups on the rest of the car, but uh, I think we should be good. So, all that being said, I uh, cleaned up a little bit because I basically was in the garage till 12.30 last time I was in here 10 days ago and uh, just left to get the parts of the body shop. So I cleaned up, kind of starting with a, a fresh slate here. We've got some a little bit of reassembly to do before we get these parts back on the car. So here's my pile. I've got most of my hardware labeled. Any of the other hardware is in the hatch there. Uh, the rear bumper is gonna need the license plate light bulbs put on. This little contraption here is your hatch release. So this is where you would insert your key. If you C6 guys didn't know, right under your license plate is a place to put in the key. If you take the fob apart, you put the key in there, it'll pop the rear hatch. Same thing with this button right here if the fob is in your pocket. So that needs to get riveted. I had to drill this out at the body shop because I forgot about it. But basically, this thing is gonna get riveted in there. So I gotta do that and then run the wires uh, back through the, the rear firewall there. Third brake light should go on. Should probably put this vent in the quarter panel. Um, this uh, bracket goes right there on the inside. All of our hardware, a couple other little things that we should do before all this stuff goes back on the car. So let's uh, get this stuff reassembled, possibly get it back on the car and see our completed 2008 Z06 without any body damage. Oh yeah, and for the 517 of you that commented on the reverse light that was broken, here's our culprit. The uh, housing itself broke, so not the wire harness. Can't do this with one hand. There we go. So the harness is fine. This is not the actual bulb housing itself. So I'm gonna go through my extensive bulb slash socket collection, see if I have the right one. I definitely have an LED for it to match the LED on the other side. And I'll see if I can get you guys to stop commenting that my reverse light is out. Anyways, let's get to work.
check it out. Two reverse lights. Fixed this one, found a socket in the old bucket of bulbs there. Got the rear bumper completely assembled, including the rear valance here. This is all installed. Got our uh, push button release and, and lock there. License plate bulbs, which I had to look in my other Z06 to see how those things even go in there. Like it literally doesn't look right, but that's just how they are. Uh, third brake light is on. Still has all this goo from the rear spoiler, which we're not worried about because we're gonna put the rear spoiler back on, which will cover that up. Even uh, these little license plate anti-rattle things. So this is all good. This thing's ready to go on. Bolted on the rear quarter. Fits absolutely perfect. Got the body gaps perfect. Door opens and shuts. Beautiful. Got the brake duct in there. Got our messed up uh, rear signal here or side marker. If you're gonna do something about this and I wanted to do it while it was all apart, obviously, but I don't have time right now and I'll explain that in a second, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Also, went to put this quarter on and I was trying to plug in my connection right here for the side marker and it was getting pushed out by the tub. And I've always thought it was weird that when this whole side was kind of pushed in here, that, you know, there was no other damage other than the, basically the bumper was creased. But, you know, it never lined up with the rear trim panels which are over there and nothing really lined up and I couldn't figure it out. Turns out this thing, this bracket here that was on this, this uh, rear quarter that I just showed me installing was perfectly folded over. So this, you see this, this part right here, which is straight out, was folded completely back on itself here, so much so that it looked factory. But when you went to install this, it pulled the quarter in so much, you couldn't even plug this thing in. It was, it was pushing the light out like this. So I was like, that's not right. We know there's no damage to the tub, you know, so clearly there's nothing wrong there. So it's something in here. I come over here and I look and it's like, okay, this thing is basically facing out. So then you come over here and you looked at this one and it was folded in on itself. And then it was like, boom, it all makes sense. But this thing, I, it looked factory how perfectly this thing was folded over. But that explains why we had, you know, a crunched in or not really crunched in, but it was pushed in to the point that this trim piece didn't fit right. And uh, anyways, quick work in the vise. This is just real thin sheet metal. Got this thing straightened out. Nice fitment on the plug there. Matches the other side. So I think we're good there. Left this loose up here as far as the fender, just so we can match it perfectly to the bumper when that thing goes on, which I think it's ready. I uh, got all these wires here. We're gonna have to sort out running the uh, cable through this grommet here, which I cut right there and uh, up into the latch, which should be fun while I'm juggling this bumper. But I think we're ready. Everything's back together. Then we can focus on the wheel well liner and the trim pieces here. So we're making good progress. This thing's starting to look like Z06 again. So yeah, let's keep going, get this bumper on and uh, get this car complete.
Looky here, boys. We've got a completely assembled Z06. Got the rear bumper all assembled, got it on there, tail lights in, everything aligned over here. Looks absolutely OEM factory. Completely matches this side. By the way, it's the next day. Got a little late last night. But yeah, rear bumper's on, secured, wheel well liner's in, brake duct is in, all our connections and, and screws and fasteners are made over here. Had to do a little work with the heat gun to get this um, wheel well liner to sit back where it needed to. Wheels back on, fitment is perfect. We had no hardware left over, good to go. Still need to put the extended ZR1 style spoiler on there and uh, my wheel well um, mud guards or flaps or whatever you want to call these, but you know what we're going to do with these. We got to give these a little coat of paint. We can't be putting them on like that. Don't have time right now because I have an appointment in like a half hour at Safe Light to put a new windshield in this thing. We've got a crack right here. Some of you guys might've noticed this in the videos, but probably not, but we've got a crack there. So we got to head on over to Safe Light. Going to drop it off. They're going to pop a new windshield in this thing. Hopefully no problems there. And, uh, then we can cross that off the list too, but for now the car should be drivable. Uh, first time driving it on the cup wheels, so hopefully that goes well. I'm um, going to drop it down, double check the torque on the wheels, and uh, we'll rip it on down to safe light, and then uh, we'll go from there. But i got to stop talking, get to work, let's get this thing down, start it up for the first time in like three weeks. Got the battery charger on it just in case. These C6s tend to be finicky if you leave them for like weeks at a time, so... Just charging it up, but yeah, let's get on down to safe life. All right, first start, three weeks. Woo! Good morning. about 50 miles an hour right now smooth as silk cup wheels feel great they look great just saw them outside for the first time very briefly because I'm running a little late right now but we'll get a better look at them uh, after this windshield gets put in but yeah let's drop this thing off get it pop new windshield in it and uh, we'll take a, look, a better look at it back at the house
Good morning, guys. Beautiful Sunday morning here. Super Bowl Sunday. Hoping to get this video out today. If not, definitely tomorrow. But we were out for a cruise in the vet. Got the new windshield in it yesterday. Got our new um, rear trim pieces painted up and installed. So those things look excellent. Just a quick coat there. They look brand new. Really brings this all together. God, this red is bright in the sun. The camera has a hard time capturing it almost looks washed out. We'll see how it looks on the computer, but it is so bright. But I parked it right in the sun just to show you guys. Hopefully you can see how well this paint matches. It looks absolutely perfect all the way down the car. And we haven't touched this paint. We haven't done any wet sanding or compounding or polishing or anything. And it looks this good already. So we are gonna get to all that in the next video. Still got to take care of those side markers, install the rear spoiler, install some badges, do a full paint correction. The car really needs it. The windshield guy actually called me yesterday and goes, hey, you're aware of all the scratches on the car, right? Of course, he's talking about all these black tire marks and scuffs and stuff that will easily come off with a little bit of buffing. Might even be able to buff the uh, PPF itself and leave all that on. But the goal of this video was to repair the body damage on this car which we've done. Super glad we were able to get that knocked out. Quarter looks perfect. Bumper looks perfect. So we're done there. We knocked out a couple other things in this video. Got a brand new OEM windshield from Safe Flight. The right one for the heads up display. Those guys knocked that out in like an hour and a half maybe. They really, really did a good job. It looks, looks perfect. Heads up display works perfect. So no more crack there. This thing is really, really coming together. But I'm gonna end this video here because I'm gonna start the next one right now. I'm gonna go back to the house, get started on the rest of the stuff we gotta do for this thing. So hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, be sure to give it a like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. There's more stuff on this car and many others like it to come. Thank you guys as always for watching. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. We'll see you in the next one.